Want to know more about the ABCs of what this area under discussion has to propose to every human being who is willing to do things for themselves? During an inspection of the structure needing bat eviction I can determine the size of the colony and the best time of the year to remove the bats. During certain times of the year bats form nursery colonies. Depending on your geographical area the bats can only be removed when the young bats are able to fly. We like to use a one-way door or referred to as a bell. These unidirectional escapes lets the bats escape not allowing the bats back in. This type of bat control eviction is approved by the organization Bat Conservation International. The utmost critical thing in bat removal from a residence is attention to all the little construction gaps. When closing all construction gaps, anything larger than an a quarter inch should be sealed. You have to seal the entire home to foil bats from getting back in. You will go as far as sealing any fault or construction crack. They'll need to exclude vents to keep bats out. Let's start by closing off louver vents, attic vents, and ridge vents if bats can breach them using one fourth inch screen. These can be painted to match, but I have found it blends in nicely left unpainted. Inspect chimneys, bricks, and mortar may be loose forming gaps. Look for gaps around where the chimney goes through soffit, carefully seal gaps and install a one-way door, if a bat way in is there. Ridge venting systems are feasible bat entrances. When looking at the ridge vent closely you'll usually find the plastic ridge vents to form leaving gaps, I've seen where varmints have chewed a gap in the vent. I will do away with the previous roof vent system and replace it. Primarily, you lay down one fourth inch hardware cloth this keeps the bats, mice, and squirrels from getting through. We will install a one-way bat door here also if the bats were using this area. Finally you'll finish the attic vent with a vent system referred to as Cobra Vent, and then finish it with top cap shingles. We try to color match any caulking, tin work, and exclusion work to make it merge in as if we have not had to fix the construction defects. We use paintable caulking, the silicon based caulks will tinge over time. I build my own one-way doors. After 10 years of bat control, I came up with an easy effective one-way valve for bat removal. You can purchase commercially produced bat cones but I personally think they are too short and have no airflow at the base where it is attached to the structure. These one-way doors are left on for about 2 weeks, to let bats leave. Then I can remove the one-way door and then block the entrance. After the bats have exited through the one-way doors the bats will try for several nights to get back in, by looking for another entrance. This is why sealing every possible entrance needs to be done. This is how to evict bats. Find out more by reading our other articles on this topic and other subjects we have written related to it. If you wish to know more about this subject check the link in the description below. Thank us by liking, sharing, or subscribing. Thank you.